we're gonna make our bison fries. It's house cut fries topped with slow cooked buffalo, cheese, and some gravy. The ultimate comfort food. All right, so what are we getting into? I like to cook the bison in a pressure cooker. A gigantic shank. I'm just doing salt and pepper. In there, sear both sides. I'm gonna take the seared meat out just to give me some room in the pan to saute the vegetables. And this is all for our gravy that we're putting on top of our fries. Yes, shallots, celery, carrots, garlic. Bay leaf. Salt and pepper. Chicken stock. Red wine, tomatoes. And a little fresh thyme. Adding the meat back in. And sealed up. It takes about 35 minutes. Got it. And we have this very tender asobuco. That's delicious. We keep all those vegetables and turn that into the sauce. We are in New Mexico, some chopped green chili. Worcestershire. Blend it all up with the immersion blender. The most important thing is that bone marrow. So we actually scoop it out, and it gives it a luxuriousness. Add the meat back into it, and we're done. Are we going to fresh cut these fries? We hand cut them. Ladies and gentlemen, never seen this before on Triple D. She's going to cut the potatoes with her hand. We use Colorado organic red potatoes. Soak them in water. To get some of that starch out. This thing's snapping. We boil them first. And then we're still going to twice fry them. Do you just like to work extra 25 hours a day, eight days a week, and just, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut them up, and then I'm going to boil them. Do you drink coffee? Yes. A lot. Give you a big old plate of fries. That's how many people get? They're really good. All your shenanigans are paying off. Add some delicious gruyere, and then we're going to melt that cheese. I like that. Some chives, and voila. The gruyere I can smell right off the bat. That's remarkable. I mean, like, this is like getting a bite of your favorite steak dinner. Big, rich beef flavor coming from that Oso Buco. The fry has tremendous potato flavor. It's just submersed in enough of that jus. The Gruyere got its way to melt down, nook and cranny, all the way to the bottom of the fries. That's a destination dish. I'd come back tomorrow for this and the next day. All right, bison gravy dirty fries. 